Thank you for that update. And the focus now is on crews preparing to keep those in the path of the storm safe. Yeah, and some of that is actually happening right here in the tri-state with a type of communication you probably haven't heard about in years. Nine on your side's Palo Soro introduces us to amateur radio operators who might just be able to make a difference. As Hurricane Florence moves into the Carolinas and Virginia, those who decided not to leave are stuck. Disaster is at the doorstep and is coming in. If you're already out of harm's way, please stay there. Already keeping law enforcement and organizations like FEMA busy with preparations. But another group is already hard at work as well. Here at the Voice of America Museum, we met a ham radio operator. They play a crucial role when it comes to communicating during natural disasters. And operators in the Carolinas will be very busy in the upcoming days with Hurricane Florence. Are there any stations within the affected areas of Hurricane Florence? A lot of communities do not have backup power. Consequently, police, fire, EMS, a lot of them could lose communications or their systems can become overloaded. That's when ham radio operators like Joe Moulter, who's been a licensed amateur radio operator for over 30 years, step in. Roger, Roger. Right now, I know they're pre-staging a lot of equipment and emergency supplies outside of the disaster areas in western parts of the Carolinas and Virginia. And so radio operators can provide communications during those events. Moulter says they've had so much time to pre-stage that operators are ready to help tackle any emergency during Florence. Let's see if we hear anybody. A lot of ham radio operators may be at shelters and they'll say, well, we're running low on bottled water or we have no electricity. And although Moulter will not be helping firsthand with Florence, operators in other areas, including him, could get called in to help people find lost family. People cannot get a hold of their relatives down there. So through the American Red Cross, what we can do is we could relay requests. Frequency and use. Palo Nine on your side.